A big thank you. Give me something, something good. Hi, and welcome to this hundredth episode of Görgat. It's a bit of a different episode. I'm not cooking today. It's just here to say thank you. Now, I started Görgat almost a year ago, it was back in August last year. And that was after I've been in hospital for a couple of days. And I was lying there in hospital, kind of thinking to myself, what are you passionate about? And what are you doing about that? And I'm passionate about food. I'm passionate about eating good food. And to eat good food, you have to cook the food. So I thought, hmm, I should cook more. And why not make a YouTube channel out of it? As kind of a dare to myself. So that's why I started Gurgut. Um, For me, it's all about good food, eating good food, and cooking good food. And to me, good food does not need to be uh, luxurious or exclusive. All it needs is good produce, so good quality of the produce that you cook, and a hell of a lot of heart. That, to me, are the two most important points of good food. And I also kind of wanted to share with you my view of Food, making food, cooking, does not have to be difficult. And you can make good food without difficult recipes or difficult techniques. It's it's possible. So that's my gospel that I'm trying to spread. As I said at the beginning, this for me is a way to thank you guys. All the subscribers, all of you who kind of like the the, the episodes that I put out there, uh, the ones that comment. You know, it means a lot to me because... A lot of work, you might not think so, but a lot of work goes into making this episode. You have to kind of plan what you're cooking, you have to do the shopping, you have to do the filming, and that's not the filming, that's kind of filming, sound guy, cutting. At the same time, you're the protagonist, so you're the one cooking it. Then you have to upload, write descriptions, and so on and so forth. So quite a lot of time goes into it, and you, the subscribers, and the ones that comment and like, are the ones that are showing me that what I'm doing is appreciated by someone. Because I think if it wasn't appreciated by anyone, I would have a difficulty to continue with the channel. I would for sure continue cooking, but just not on YouTube. So thank you very much for that. It means a lot to me. And a special thank you to some of the more frequent commenters. People like Russ, Gore and Claudia, just to name a few. And a small special thank you to one comment I got from Tante Kate, uh, where she's com- uh, comparing me, saying that I'm the Bob Ross of um, cooking. And for those of you who don't know who Bob Ross is, look him up. He's a legend when it comes to painting. I remember him from, I think, even from MTV in the early 90s. So what does the future hold for Gurgut? Well, there's a couple of changes coming. The first one you will realize pretty much straight away, and that's that I'm not going to put out two episodes every week, Um, taking it down a notch and only producing one episode per week. That will come out every Tuesday, so that if you like the recipe, you have time to kind of do your planning and shopping to, to cook it on the weekend. I also want to make more episodes about other people cooking, so kind of my favorite chefs cooking their favorite dishes. That was the original plan for Gurgut when I first started it, but due to COVID restriction, it's been quite difficult to, to, to fulfill that goal. But I hope going forward, there will be more of that to come. And I also want to mix it up a bit with, with maybe some food vlogging uh, when I'm, I don't know, when I'm shopping or when I'm somewhere outside of Zurich uh, traveling, eating good food. I want to share that with you as well. So there might be a bit of that kind of content coming up as well. And I'm going to do some giveaways. Um, I have a knife to give away, some cookbooks, so stay tuned for that as well. And for those of you for whom this is your first contact with Gurgut, don't be afraid. Normally I do cook and it's normally about food. This is just a special 100th episode uh, where it's kind of a forum for me to say thank you to all of you. Uh, so if you're new, either go check the, the, the old playlist where you will find a lot of, hopefully you will think they are good recipes. Um, and do me the favor, click the subscribe button, check the little bell icon for all the upcoming content. And you will see it's a bit of a mixed bag what you get if you subscribe to Gurgut. It's not only Swedish cooking or Swiss cooking, 
Um, I basically um, I'm agnostic uh, in the origins of the dishes that I cook. There's a lot of um, Korean, Japanese, Thai, Swiss, Swedish, some French. Um, yeah, so <laughs> there's something for every taste. And, and the thing that unites them all is that I think they taste great. So that's it for this short episode. Again, a big, huge thank you to all of you who have supported me along the way. Please continue doing so. Don't forget to leave a comment um, about what you maybe liked so far in the 100 episodes that I've produced and, and what you would like to see going forward. I'm always open to, to suggestions, to feedback, what you think I can do better. So do me a favor, leave a comment, like the video, and if you haven't done so yet, subscribe. But that's it. A big, big thank you from the bottom of my heart. Take care. Until next time. Bye-bye.